guys. Okay, um, I have my workout clothes on today and I am exercising. I am making myself exercise today. And I am going to be talking to you guys real quick about um, the 10 steps to happiness. Um, I'm a pretty um, positive person. Most people I know say I bounce back easy from heartbreak or um, something that's sad or depressing or stressful. I've just always been that way. Um, and so I'm always trying to, you know, give people tips, um, on, you know, how you can be happier. And in my opinion, happiness is completely a choice. Um, you can choose to be happy. You can choose to be miserable. Now it's easier said than done for some people. I know that, um, some people have, um, really extra stressful situations or something horrible going on in their life right now, but you can usually find at least something to be happy about. Or if you just stay positive through whatever situation you're going through, um, that usually makes you feel better as well. But I found these 10 steps to happiness online um, on a website called shavemagazine.com and um, I just thought they were all really good um, tips and a lot of these I um, already do and some of them I'm going to make sure that I do more of because I really do think these work. Um, okay, let's just get right into it. The first thing it lists is exercise, which is why I'm going to be exercising today. You know, after I read this, I said, you know, that is so true because back when I used to exercise on a regular basis, I always felt better about myself. I felt more energized and, um, you know, I want to look better and exercise is going to get me in shape to help that happen. And, um, it just, it releases all these endorphins that just they just make you happier and so I am definitely going to make myself um, do better with that plus since I'm in this 90 day weight loss challenge I need to be exercising anyway so that's the first thing it lists is exercise okay number two take charge of your mind this is really true if you can think of as many positive things as you can each day anything happy anything positive and just you know kind of tell your brain um, to quit thinking of the negative thoughts, you know, that you're not going to be miserable. If you really just take control of your mind, um, it will be a really powerful thing. And I think that would really help a lot of people. Um, number three, celebrate success. Uh, so many people, you know, don't do this. I don't do this. And it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be anything like major. It could be something simple. Um, like if I reach a goal, you know, with my diet and exercise, you know, once I've completed my 90 day weight loss challenge and I've lost any amount of weight, you know, that's a good thing. Um, right now I'm striving to make all A's and all of my classes in school. Um, if I can do that, I ought to celebrate, you know, any milestone that you reach, anything that you're striving for, even if it's small, you know, if, when you complete it, celebrate it. I think it would make you feel so much better. Um, number four, it says eliminate excess stress. Anything in your life right now that is causing extra stress, just eliminate it if you possibly can. Sometimes it's just a person that you know, a family member or a friend that is, you know, constantly nagging or bugging you about something. You know, take a step back and say, hey, you know, I need to take a little break from you. Even if it's just a day, um, just eliminate whatever stress in your life you possibly can. Um, number five, it says live in the present. This is something that I always strive to work on. For example, I've been waiting for my house, um, you know, to be ready on my land and it's been taking a long time. I was unrealistic with my expectations of how long it would take. And every week I say, this is the week, you know, we're going to be able to move. And then another week comes, no, this is really the week. Like every week I've been saying it's the week, but there's been con constant just mishaps and things going on that have um, not let us be able to move yet. So, you know, it's, we're just kind of stressed out about it. So the best thing to do is just live in the present. And so finally, you know, the other day I just decided, I told myself, I said, you know what? When the home is ready, it's ready. We'll move when we move. I mean, it's going to be coming pretty soon. Um, so I'm just going to quit stressing about it. You know, live in the present. Enjoy each day as it comes. Um, kind of reminds me of one of my favorite books of all time. Um, Enjoy where you are on the way to where you were going. I recommend that book if you have not read it. Um, 
especially it's good for people that are feel like kind of feel like they're in a rut or they're trying to accomplish something and it's just taken longer than they expected. You know, the book just talks about how you should enjoy where you are right now on the way to where you're going. It's a really good book. Um, okay, so number six, hang around positive people. This is definitely true. I purposely distance myself from people with really um, negative attitudes or bad vibes or bad things going on in their life. It just creates a bad negative aura around me and I just distance myself from those people and I only surround myself with positive people because usually, and I don't know if y'all have noticed this, but I notice this with myself. If I'm around someone who's always happy and upbeat and positive, it makes me want to be that way. It makes me feel better. But if you're around a bunch of negative people, you're going to feel that way too. Okay, number seven, it says strengthen close relationships. Um, this is a good thing. You know, even if you already feel close with someone, uh, make the relationship even stronger. Try to spend time with, you know, certain people, whether it's a husband, a boyfriend, um, a, just a family member or a friend. You know, if you already feel like you have a pretty close relationship, hang out with them more, spend time with them more, strengthen the relationship that you have with them. Um, number eight, be friendly. This is a good one. Sometimes it's really hard to be friendly, especially if you're in a bad mood or things are going on around you that are bad. But I have found, um, with myself anyway, that if I just go the extra mile and try to be friendly, you know, just smile extra and be friendly around everyone, um, I usually notice that I get more positive, friendly feedback back from them. And it's really, really difficult to stay grumpy when you're being friendly. It really is difficult. It just makes you feel happier and more positive. And I think being friendly, even if you don't feel like being friendly, is a great tip. And number nine, it says give back. And this is a really good one as well. Um, I'm a person who really loves to do things for other people. I almost would rather enjoy giving something to someone else than getting something in return. It just makes me feel really good about myself. I love to see people's excitement and the smile on their face when you've given them something or done something nice for someone. It just makes you feel really good. And that's kind of, it goes hand in hand with being friendly. It's really hard to stay negative and be in a horrible mood when you're giving back, when you're being friendly and be giving back and doing nice things for other people. So that's something to consider, you know, try to give back every day, even if it's just some tiny, tiny thing. I bet you'll notice a difference. And number 10, it says be grateful. You know, so many of us are not grateful um, for the things that we have. And I have really, really um, try to be grateful in my life now because so many years ago there was a time in my life where I wasn't grateful and also that was a miserable time in my life. So I think it's very important to be grateful for whatever you have. Be appreciative whatever you have because usually there's at least one other person in this world that has it way worse than you do and that's one thing that makes me feel um, better too if I'm kind of down in the dumps and miserable or you know feel like I'm not going anywhere or nothing's nothing is good happening for me or you know I'm struggling one week with something particular um, not that I am happy about the people that are less fortunate than me I just know that I'm grateful for what I have because there's always at least one person out there that has way less than you do and so we ought to be appreciative of what we have and usually if you're appreciative of what you have that's gonna make you feel better too just about life in general so these are the 10 steps to happiness I think they are wonderful I almost think it would be a good idea to write all um, of these down on a list put it on your refrigerator that way every time you go to the refrigerator or just put it somewhere in your home you are a lot and anytime you go to that spot and you see them it will remind you to be happier and the tips and keys of things in life you can do that will make you feel better be positive and feel happier and you could just take the 10 things and just um, put each individual one in just random places in your house um, I don't know I think I'm gonna make a list and put it somewhere that you know I'm gonna see it every day and remind myself um, 
and I think I'll put it on my refrigerator because it's good for other people to see too and my kids and my husband are always in the refrigerator so I figured if I put it up there at least once in a while they'll glance at it and um, maybe they will take some of these tips and use them for themselves as well anyway um, I just wanted to um, put up a little positive video today and I'm about to go exercise so wish me luck and um, I will just talk to you guys later and have a great day bye